I don't really mind where I play. Um, last year, I don't really think it was much of a strike. I think it was more of a, if you watch the games, I was coming up off the left a lot and um, floating in that side space. So, um, yeah, I think when you see it on a team sheet, it's uh, very different to how it's played on the game. And the way modern football is now, you know, a lot of the time in possession, you're playing one position and out of possession, you're kind of um, adjusting depending on the team you're playing against. So I'm really comfortable playing wherever the coach wants me to and however I have to help the team. Um, <clears throat> I know, for example, to score goals, it's easier to play uh, close to the goal, but um, maybe this season I'll have to adapt. And um, yeah, that's fine. Like you, say, like you saw today, I can still uh, do my best to affect games. Next question, please. <laughs> Maciej Leszczyński, Real Madrid.pl. Um, especially in the second half, you might feel you played at home with all the crowd. <coughs> How do you feel about all the love from Polish fans today? Yeah, um, they've been uh, really nice with us um, these last couple of days, actually. You know, from the airport to the hotel, it's been lovely, honestly. It's always a pleasure coming to perform for new audiences, you know, and perform for people who, you know, maybe not might not get the chance to see you as often. And um, you try and give them a good impression and give them a lasting memory. You know, I, I remember what it was like for me going to watch games um, of players I, I thought I'd never get the chance to see. And, um, yeah, you, you remember it for the rest of your life. So, um Yeah, I'm really appreciative to come and play in places like this. And, you know, the atmosphere was brilliant and obviously a, a good game to match. So, good night all round. Next question to you. You will need a translation. Oh, okay. <coughs> hey, you here. Uh, Jose Padilla, uh, Defensa Central. Uh, I want to ask you about your good uh, harmony with Mbappé. Uh, good English. What is like to play with him? Amazing, you know. Um, <coughs> I think... I thought he was amazing before um, and now I've got the chance to play with him. You know, you you see the details a little bit closer, the speed, the quality, um, the work without the ball, the way he is as a leader, he communicates and, you know, I can't speak highly enough of him really. You know, it's a big step for him. Obviously, people have been talking about him coming here for a long time and, you know, it feels like he's he's been here for a while. You know, he, he's settled right in. It's a great team in terms of that. It's a great dressing room for, for welcoming players and, Yeah, we'll, we'll do the same with him and I'm sure he'll give us more rewards like he did tonight. <coughs> Next question on the left, please. Hola, Jude. ¿Qué tal? Rubén Cañizares de ABC. Yo quería preguntarte cómo estás de tu hombro. No, creo que hoy no has jugado con, con la protección como hiciste la pasada temporada. Si ya es un asunto que tienes totalmente curado, porque creo que en la Eurocopa también te vimos con, con la protección. Y si es un asunto que ya no te va a acarrear ningún problema, ni tienes previsto pasar por el quirófano. Sorry, it's a bit. Sorry, it's a bit delayed. Um, yeah, uh, it feels really good. I've been working really hard in the off season and <clears throat> towards the back end of last season. And you know, I think the strap was always something a bit more precautionary. Um, When it initially comes out, it's 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 tough because for the next few weeks and few months you can feel the pain. And um, towards the end of the season, it was agitating me a little bit. Um, obviously, the amount of games, you know, you land on it, little things like that. So the strap was really helping me. But I think I've got a trust in the work that I do in the gym, the work I do with Pintus and all the rest of the um, sports scientists. And you know, it, it feels a lot stronger. Um, I'm really dedicated to the professional side of my game, trying to improve the strength of my body. So. Um, Yeah, I've got to trust it. It's football. Anything can happen. You know, if it was to come out again, then that's a conversation to have uh, with the club and with the physios. But um, for now, I kind of just want to think about um, playing football as best as I can. I think that's probably without the NFL shoulder brace.